start our dino egg experiment, uh, we need to open up our kits. Inside your kit, you'll have baking soda, vinegar, a little bit of food coloring, a pipette, and most of all, dinosaurs. You also need a cup of cold water for this experiment, so grab yourself a cup of cold water. Uh, this will help us uh, get a, a chemical reaction. What you'll want to do is add your baking soda to a small bowl that you find. And try to uh, make it smooth, so crush it up if you need to. And then what you'll do is you'll add a little cold water. This will kind of cause the baking soda to clump up. So what you want to do is you want to clump that up. This is what we're going to use as the base of our egg. Once you see this, I want you to take your dye and put your dye on the baking soda and water mixture. This is going to be a little messy, so just know that going into it with your hands and mix it up so that it's green. Mix the baking soda up there. And let me see, it looks like the dinosaur I have is this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixture. We're going to place our dinosaur in there. And remember not to use too much water because then it won't harden as well. So due to that not being able to harden as well, we're going to add some more baking soda. So And then we'll mix this up. And then we're going to pat it around. Our dinosaur to make that egg. And remember, add a, if you, it's too, uh, you don't want to add too much water, but we're going to add some so that it compacts so that we can add it to our egg. And you can smooth out your egg as you go along. So what you want to do is you're going to take your egg and set it aside so it dries out so that it's not so wet. And you're just going to wait a little bit until it dries. So what we showed you was sodium bicarbonate, which was the baking soda. And then by mixing it with the cold water, it hardened. And you enough to do your first experiment with the dinosaur egg. Uh, you can always use more uh, baking soda and water that you have around at home. To make more eggs, we threw in an extra dinosaur for you so that you can do further experiments. The last part is you're going to want to take your vinegar, which is this, and you're going to want to take your pipette right here, and we're going to make a, and we're going to make an explosive mixture. So sodium bicarbonate is a basic compound, while vinegar is a diluted solution that contains acidic acid. In this experiment, we will have two separate reactions. The first reaction will be with the vinegar and the baking soda, mixing it together. There are hydrogen ions in the vinegar, which are going to react with the uh, sodium bicarbonate in the baking soda. The first reaction is going to be two chemicals, uh, carbonic acid and sodium acetate being created. What you'll do is you'll suck up the vinegar in your pipette, and then you'll put it on your egg. You can always make your second egg and your egg to somebody else to impress them and have them guess what kind of dinosaur is inside. And then this will open up your dinosaur egg so you can see what dinosaur is inside. See, look at all of the bubbles on the top. Uh, this is our second reaction, is a decomposition reaction. It is formed, and as a result, the first reaction immediately begins to decompose into water and carbon dioxide gas. The gas is at those bubbles at the top, which are like carbonated soda, you know, like when you open a pop and it goes... And that rises to the top of the mixture. That's creating the bubbles and the foam when we're mixing the baking soda and the vinegar. It's an explosive eruption. As you can see sometimes, when you shake up a pop, and then you try to open it.
You should have enough vinegar uh, for both of your dinosaurs. See, oh, let's see what we got here. It looks like we got a stegosaurus in this egg. Clean that up a little bit, see? Uh, the only problem with these is vinegar will smell a little. All you have to do is wash off your dinosaur. But yeah, so now it has dissolved. All the baking soda has dissolved into the CO2 gas through all the bubbles and the vinegar mixture. And then that's why you're able to see your dinosaur. Let's check out the other dinosaurs that might be in these eggs. What do you guys think they're going to be? Oh, it looks like there's a triceratops in this one. Yeah, it looks like you have a lot of vinegar that you guys can use. I think this one might be a T-Rex. What do y'all think? Looks like we got... This looks like a Dilophosaurus. Uh, it's in Jurassic Park 1. The one that has a fan underneath its neck and uh, spits out poison. But <laughs> that's a cool one. Uh, let me know which ones you guys get in the comments. I hope you guys have fun. Uh, check out our other crafts at kckpl.org and also our STEM and science classes. Uh, be on the lookout for those. And take care and have a great day.